This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 uh, Super Duty Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab. It's an XLT, which is cloth. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. Um, it's an FX4 package, which means Rancho suspension installed at the Ford factory. It has 185,000 miles on it. Um, it's kind of an ugly truck. <laughs> It doesn't. Uh, I'm going to show you what I what I mean by that. It's just a brown work work truck uh, with windows and locks. Uh, basically, uh, it was sort of something I picked up at the last second because the uh, basically because the price. Uh, it was a dealer trade in to Jim Click, uh, which is the biggest deal, new car dealer here in town, and uh, they have to sell all their trade ins with over 100,000 miles uh, because they can't get financing on their used car lot for their used car buyers when they have over 100,000. Um, and this one was just uh, a great price and we figured well We'll just make it into a shop truck and it turned out to be a better truck than we thought it would be and now it's for sale So it'd be a great work truck for somebody um, I'm gonna walk around and show you what, what's going on here um, When we got it here it had a little bit of blow-by which is kind of normal in a 185,000 mile truck We gave it an LOF uh, Which is uh, basically we changed the oil and filter the oil was filthy dirty and uh, that cleared up about 92% of it um, I don't think that this thing ever had its oil changed so still got a tad bit of that but uh, it's actually very normal for uh, a 180,000 mile truck but it is our job to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting when you buy a truck from us when you buy anything from us uh, we don't hold anything back any information we have we will give you but basically for the price you're gonna pay for this truck on a clear title 180,000 mile 06 extra cab diesel 4x4 uh, it's gonna outweigh anything that's cosmetically wrong with it and if a little bit of blow-by is all you're dealing with uh, you're pretty you're gonna be pretty happy My brother will take this out uh, after I do this video, and he will do a uh, between 50 and 70 HD pictures. When we got this truck, it had a tailgate on it, and it had a big shotgun sh shot blast right here. <laughs> so we bought a Luber tailgate for it, uh, which is why that is on the truck. Obviously, this was somebody's work truck. And uh, mechanically, it runs great. I mean, it's all there. It's just, you know, it's got some paint smatters on the door panel. Just a little bit of paint, like, on the door panels inside and whatnot. I mean, this is not something to show off cosmetically. But if you keep the oil change from here on out, uh, it should be a good truck for work or towing uh, boats around for quite some time. Let's see, what do we got here? We have 185,741 miles. I'm going to open the hood. We're going to be looking for Ford stamps on both fenders and on both sides of the core support. That'll indicate that there haven't been any uh, fenders or parts replaced uh, due to crash damage. There's your Ford stamp there. There's your Ford stamp there. Kind of converter sticker where it belongs. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. So I'm going to open up this uh, cap. Honestly, I can't even see it now. So that, that LOF. The oil change that we did probably fixed it, but it had a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust, which is low by, and uh, we just like to let everyone know what they're buying. Uh, it would appear that it's pretty much gone. Uh, the oil was so bad that uh, we figured that would be the, uh, the issue, but. 
we leave nothing else nothing to uh, the imagination there's no lid for the uh, ashtray back here see the seats I mean it's it's a work truck you know if you're gonna show off this is not the truck to be in a little bit of paint here on the doors if you want to tow a boat you don't want to worry about your son crashing it because it's already got dings and dents and whatever uh, this is the one Would be a great truck for a, a first truck because it's short. It does have a long bed, but it is an extra cab, not a not a crew cab, which uh, helps a little bit with the uh, making it a little easier to drive. All right, driver window. Passenger window, door locks, some mirrors out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, down. All right, power seat on the driver's side back, forward, pull seat down. Full seat up. There you go. All right, you got a tilt wheel here. Down, that works fine. The air conditioning feels great in here. Let me turn that up a little bit, it's warm. It's October in Tucson, but man, oh man. I can still feel it. It's hot. Finally get to 90 today, but by the end of the summer, we've had enough. It's time to call off the dogs. There's your tow haul. See the light on the dash? On and off. There you go. Little package. Alright, we put it in neutral. Put it in four low. Now we're in four low. Drive. And reverse. Now we're going to go to neutral, put it four wheel high, now we're in four high, drive, and reverse. Alright, and two wheel drive, there you go. Okay. Alright, let's go for a ride. This truck's on a clear title. Um, it was a dealer trade-in from Jim Click. And if you come to Tucson to drive it home, which you're welcome to do, uh, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate, for instance, is 3%, and you want to come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay 5% taxes. That's your 3 plus R2. And you're going to pay $250 dock fee. Um, if you're in Arizona, for instance, uh, our state tax rate is 6.1, so you're going to pay 8.1% tax, which is our two city tax of two, plus our Arizona tax of 6.1. So just add two to whatever your state tax rate is, and you'll know what you're going to pay, and then add $250 dock fee. This thing runs great. Really strong. Um, uh, what else? Let's see. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Uh, you deal with your taxes, your dock fees, or your motor vehicle fees, whatever they are, once it gets to you. Um, please make sure you get a deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. This thing looks really good. Anyway, yeah, if you, if you pay by wire and ship, um, there's no extra charge, just the, just the price. Um, once we receive full payment, we will uh, sign the title off to you, notarize it, scan it into your online file. Um, we'll even scan in the like, envelope that we mail the title to you in. Um, you'll have an online file that will also include the 
title that we got from Jim Click. Uh, everything that we know about this truck is going, you're going to know. Um, that being said, this is the point of the video where I tell people that all these vehicles that we have out here, every one of them, um, is out of warranty. If Ford could have said, here's a 5 million mile warranty that's, you know, <laughs> 72 years, they would have, and they would be able to charge, you know, $500,000 for the truck. They couldn't, because they don't know what's going to happen. They know more than we know. Funding for radio is fine. We've got an MP3, Bluetooth, um, JBC. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is, Assume that you're going to have to spend some of the money that you're saving by buying this truck from us on a repair sooner or later. Now, what that would be, we have no idea. It could be you know, windshield wiper motor. It could be uh, injectors. We don't know. Um, right now, it's nothing. But this thing has 185,000 miles, which means it's out of warranty. And it's an 06, which means it's out of warranty. Uh, Ford knows more than we know. So, if you're not uh, into any risk, go buy a new version of this truck and you'll probably pick an extra cab cloth 4x4 diesel for about 45000 Then you'll have three years, of 36, uh, three years and 36 months of zero stress. Okay, uh, That's how you cure that. Otherwise, you're going to have to adopt some risk. And that's all I have to say on that subject. Other than that, I mean, you saw it run. It runs great. And that's all. Uh, thank you for your time.